Hey guys, NJ here. So I've had a subscriber for the longest time, a guy named Sharon Upmerskin, and he has been sending me maybe for the last six to eight months drawings of a quadcopter that he has gradually been developing um, with an idea to get it to market. And uh, Sharon is not a, a retailer or a vendor. He's someone that has just taken uh, an idea um, use the skills that he had to start drawing this thing out and then he has actually brought this thing to market and it's called the Beast X. I don't know if a few of you know about this but I've known about it since the start and I'm absolutely delighted to see uh, one of these turn up at my door today so thank you very much Sharon. I'm very impressed with what I have in front of me. Now I did have a little chat with uh, Sharon um, just to talk about some of the features of this thing um, and first of all one thing I did notice was just how amazing the quality of the carbon was. Um, obviously I always like, like to see a nice tight weave in the carbon but normally no matter how good the kit is when I get this stuff out the first thing I'll do as, as some of you will know is start to sand down and smooth out the edges of all this carbon. Now straight away I noticed just how incredibly well machined and cut this carbon is and the second thing that I noticed was it is just about the stiffest carbon I have ever held in my hands when it comes to quadcopter designs it really is incredibly tough so I did go back to Sharon and I asked him a little bit about the building materials and what he's actually done in the process of getting this to market he hasn't gone to a Chinese vendor to try and get this uh, mass produced he's actually gone to a vendor that supplies carbon parts for the military so we are actually talking about some really high grade materials. Now one small downside of that is it does weigh a fraction more but I think and I do agree with him on this point that it's well worth the extra tiny bit of weight just to get that incredible uh, structural integrity that this carbon um, delivers. So that's a fantastic feature. You can see here the actual side parts are made of uh, machined out of aluminium and again uh, Sharon was quite happy to point out um, that this aluminium again isn't just the standard stuff that's, that's uh, made up and milled out this is actually aircraft 7075 grade aluminium and the actual detail in, in in the machining and and how he's chosen to you know even down to this where the camera pod will sit these little recesses and these little design uh, ideas that are in here and also how he's gone to try and make it as light as possible but structurally strong uh, I think they're all absolutely fantastic and I think you'll agree it's an absolutely beautiful looking quadcopter um, and in the hands I mean this just feels like an it just feels like a tank now on the scales this actually comes in at 99 grams which is on par with I think most of uh, most uh, frames out there you know it's a, a very good um, weight to work towards and, and that was his uh, design idea in the first place he said I've got to keep it under 100 grams uh, and he's achieved that but as, as I've said with this really great quality carbon and aluminium um, in terms of the design we have four individual arms now you'll see from the picture of the arms the actual arms um, at their root um, are kind of um, milled out so they're like half the thickness towards towards the root and I was initially even after building this actually not f I didn't fully understand what the purpose of that was of course until I looked down uh, to where the battery strap would go and then it started to make sense so this is where the battery strap will root and of course if these arms were um, the full height or the full thickness all the way to the root that gap wouldn't be there um, so that's quite a, a clever little design idea you've got this nice strong uh, base plate sandwiching the two and then in terms of the top plate you have these four screws that go, uh, four bolts that go up rather and and then you will mount your uh, PDB flight controller on top of those. Um, there are definitely some um, parallels that can be drawn with things like uh, the GT2 for instance which as you know I absolutely love. Uh, for instance having this angled section at the back for mounting the um, the SMA connector um, and again really really like that. Um, he's chosen to do this with a carbon cross section um, and then you also have because you've got all these nice sort of holes and, and milled out areas to keep the aluminium light you've got lots of areas for mounting options. Um, the top plate um, as well as carrying the Beastex logo also has 
holes and slots for rip ties so that you can actually fit yourself um, a, t a TPU mount of your choice for your HD camera or you can just put some padding on top and just run the camera straight on top if you prefer to do so. Now one of the other things that um, hasn't made its mate way to me yet but uh, is in the post, Sharon has also designed a really uh, attractive and strong looking um, uh, kind of canopy cover uh, for the FPV camera for a 1177 style camera that will go in here um, and that shroud will offer, offer a bit of extra protection and some nice aerodynamic properties and you know I, again I saw two or three revisions of this and the first revision I said wow that looks amazing and he went back and he said no it's not right it needs to be better it needs to be more beautiful it needs to be stronger and he kept showing me revisions and what he's ended up with is what I'm going to show you in these photos absolutely stunning and he's actually printing those out of a carbon mix filament um, so it should be really strong so those are going to be available um, at a later date right now this is actually available um, so I shall put a link in the description uh, where to click on to go and check out the uh, buying one of these um, they do ship worldwide as far as I know and uh, it, I've got to say that's a great price point as well considering the quality of the materials um, and you know hats off this is he's put so much thought into the design um, it's strong it's a good weight and yeah I just just love the design of it and I'm really really looking forward to uh, building this up and going out and giving it a good flight test um, but yeah so that is just a quick overlook at this uh, new beast x new to market uh, quadcopter it is in a pure x configuration um, there's some more screenshots uh, of this which I saw chuck in at the end and if you go off to the uh, link for the product page there is a video or two there for you to see um, some flying videos of it so far so there we go I will see you guys in the next one